Hey Globe Gallopers! Today I'd like to bring you three must-visit destinations when travelling to Beijing in China. My first recommendation is probably an obvious one, the Great Wall of China. However, when I went to Beijing, we went to a section of the wall which was quite incredible. We went up to the wall in a chairlift. Alrighty, so, going up to the Great Wall in a, <laughs> in a chairlift. Just a cable car and a... As you can see, underneath us we've got a toboggan run. We hiked up to the end of the walkable portion of the wall. However, we were able to continue on. There was a section that was not officially closed, but didn't look open to the public. It was really overgrown and there were some sheer drops on either side. But we were feeling really adventurous, so we went through with it. We took our time and were careful, and in the end it was a really worthwhile experience. <laughs> One of my favourite parts about visiting the wall, however, was the way down. The section we were at had a toboggan run. This was basically a cart in a metal chute, and you could control your speed with a lever in front of you. It's a really good time, and you can go at your own pace, so I'd highly recommend this to pretty much anybody. Alright, we're in business. Yeah, yeah! Holy oh. 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 Yeah, break! Sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. Go, go sorry, I didn't I didn't know that was we were stopping. Go, 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 go. <laughs> stopping. No? <laughs> no, stopping. Go too fast. <laughs> okay, shut up. Come prepared. So Nicole, tell us about the Great Wall of Water Prices. <laughs> um, the higher the elevation goes, the greater the price of water. So they tried to charge us 30 yuan. For 30 yuan. Food, which is what, about $6? Yeah, so what, what do you get them for in the um, the supermarkets and stuff? In the supermarkets we get 12 bottles for about 10 yuan. Yep. And in the streets we get one bottle for one yuan. Um, and then Riley bought one for 10 at the checkpoint somewhere down there. <laughs> My second recommendation to do while in Beijing would be to visit the Silk Markets. This is located on Silk Street and you're able to get the subway there. The Silk Markets is a, a shopping complex with about seven floors. So Adrian, where are we? We're at the Silk Market. The Silk Markets. Yep. And uh, did we get here easily? Uh, relatively. Yeah, we got the subway. Got the subway and uh, yeah. It was easy to buy the tickets. Yeah. But to actually find the subway entrance, we asked about five people for directions. They were pointed different ways yeah. until like a really nice couple actually just like held our hand and took us <laughs> to the entrance. Yeah, that's it. Now, all seven of these floors have a range of different goods, ranging from electronics to, to fine clothing to casual clothing, shoes, uh, you know, sunglasses, pocket knives, anything you'd really want produced in China. There's the chance to get some really great bargains here, but they make you work for it. The original asking price is usually about a thousand percent markup from what we ended up getting things for. For example, we got some uh, fine silk ties for 25 quai each, some brand name underwear. Obviously it was fake, but it still felt good quality, like Calvin Klein, Abercrombie and & Fitch, and we got them for about two dollars Australian each. T-shirts were about 30 to 40 quai. I got a pair of jeans for a hundred quai. Most people were getting Nike sneakers for about 140 quai, so that, that's a rough gauge of uh, what you can get. I even had some friends get some full suits tailor-made for about 600 quai. 
My third recommendation to do while in Beijing is a complete day trip. We were lucky to be staying near the Forbidden City, but if not, there's two subway stations nearby. I'd recommend to get to the Forbidden City, um, see Tiananmen Square before you go in. Uh, we're here in Tiananmen Square. This was the flag that was raised at 5 a.m. or sunrise this morning. Picture of Mao over there. Biggest square in the world. Uh, once in the Forbidden City, it's all quite repetitive, so you're okay to sort of make a beeline straight through and see the Imperial Garden. <laughs> once through there, you'll notice a big hill with a, a little temple in the distance. This is called Temple of the Heavens. And although it is a bit of a hike, I 1000% recommend trying to get up there for the view. The Forbidden City. We won't go through it. We came from the other side of that thing. Okay guys, hopefully you found this video informative. Um, good luck if you are going to Beijing yourself. You won't regret it. Thanks Globe Gallopers, we'll see you next time. Um, I believe we are at the Olympic bird nest. See if you have a look over there. <laughs> Doesn't that look just like a bird's nest? A very large bird's nest. And look, oh my god, there's birds. Oh, oh my god. god. Alright, we're okay. <laughs>